Hey guys, Ryan here. Today, we are going to be discussing episode 9, or no, season 9, episode 11. Um, this one's the title Bounty. We're going to be giving our predictions for next week's episode of The Walking Dead. Now guys, I think this is probably going to be the best episode of the second half that we've seen so far. Because we're actually going to get to see Alpha, like an entire episode just of Alpha. And, I mean, obviously we'll get other stuff, like we'll have some stuff with the Kingdom, and we'll have stuff with the Hilltop. And last episode, episode 10, spoiler warning if you haven't seen that episode by the way. Um, Alpha actually showed up at the Hilltop trying to get Lydia back. Um, so, we're going to start with giving our predictions for what will happen at the hilltop then we'll go to the kingdom i don't think we'll see alexandria or michonne this episode um i just don't think that we will i just don't think it really fits into the story right now i definitely think we'll see them in episode 12 though so i'm kind of excited for that because as you guys know or actually well maybe because i've actually gained about 150 subscribers in the last 24 hours so i'm actually really really excited right now because I don't know, I, that's just awesome, because I uploaded the video, and it got over, like, 70,000 views, and that's just crazy. I mean, I uploaded another one, and that has over, like, 104,000 views, um, and that's really cool. So, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying that those kind of videos. I'll definitely keep uploading them for you. Um, but, yeah, so, what I think will happen at the Hilltop is, I think the episode will, I don't know exactly how it'll, well, no, actually, never mind. So, it opens with, um, like, a flashback. And then it goes to Ezekiel, current time. So, obviously, if you guys haven't seen that opening witness video, go check it out. Um, but, yeah, so, at the hilltop, I think it'll start with Daryl, like, them just having an over-the-wall conversation. I don't think he'll go straight down there. Um, I think eventually when she's, like, you know, she brings out, or when she f makes some threats, then he'll go down there and be like, you, what are you trying to do? I, we literally can kill you all right now. You guys don't have guns. Which, actually, I did see in an image. Um, it was, like, a behind image of Daryl standing here and her standing here. She does have her shotgun, so if she wanted to, she actually could kill Daryl right there. But, um, obviously, that's not going to happen. It's kind of stupid, too, because either way, even if they get him, they can still get Alden and Luke. But I don't think it's going to happen. So, either way, I just wanted to let you guys know that she is actually armed. So, I think she, that she'll actually have that shotgun throughout most of the season. So, that's kind of cool, but... Because it's kind of an iconic weapon in the comics, so... Um, but anyway, so I think that um, they'll have an over-the-wall conversation. Not It'll be kind of intense because she, Alpha is fairly creepy, unmasked, and even when she has her mask on, she's even creepier. So um, I think that they'll just discuss, like, you know, she'll say, give me my daughter back. Are our friends still alive? Do you have them? Because they don't actually know if she has their friends or not. So I think... In the sneak peek, she did say, you know, yeah, I have them. And then at the, she also did show them off, and she had knives to the throat. So it was, it was a really intense sneak peek. So there was a Talking Dead one and the AMC one, so go check those out. But So I don't think – I think it will be an interesting conversation between them. But I don't think it will be like – although this is actually one thing I haven't thinking about. I think that, honestly, I feel like Alden could die. I feel like, you know, she does it just to prove her point. You know, I'm not messing around. Give me my daughter back. Otherwise, I'll kill Luke, too. I honestly, for some reason, I feel like Alden could actually die. And I think that's a really cool aspect to the story. Um, because it just shows that she's not messing around. She will literally kill you if you don't give her her daughter back. But at the same time, it's like, why would she kill one of her pe one of their hostages if she's trying to get her daughter back? No, still, it is one for one. And she said, she could easily say, you know, I'll kill him, too. And then, I mean, then they can go, I mean, I think it'd be actually pretty cool. Because Alden's not like a, like a, you know, oh my gosh, if he, if he, you know, dies, I'm, I'm not watching the show anymore, like, it's not like that, um, I feel like, honestly, you could kill him and it not have a major effect, because it is a face that we know, but it's not like a, oh my gosh, if he, if they die, I'm not watching the show anymore, it's, it's like, holy crap, she just killed him, that's what that is, it's not, you know, it's not as intense as if she killed, like, Jerry or Daryl like if someone if she killed Daryl that'd just be dumb but um so yeah I think we might get an intense scene like her either really threatening to kill Alden or actually killing because I don't think that they'll kill Luke I think Luke is a later type of type of deal I think that maybe she'll take him out I think that he actually will die this season but I don't think it'll be next episode um, I don't think she'll kill both of her hostages because then she has no leverage over trying to get Lydia back. But I honestly think that there is a possibility Alden could go. And I think she's going to try to show off some of the stuff that she can do and really show them that she is a threat. Um, because she did say, too, though, in that one sneak peek that, 
They killed her people, they crossed in their land, there will be no conflict. Give me my daughter or there will be conflict. And if he's like, you know, you can't have her, you know, all of them, that would actually make really good sense. And that would actually make a lot of sense, I mean, for her to actually take out all of them and just show how serious she is. Like, I'm saying, I will kill you guys all if you don't give me my daughter back. Um, and I don't know if we'll get any more, like, backstory to it, but I think it'd be cool if we got another aspect of really showing how gruesome she is to her to her daughter instead of just, like, her telling Daryl. Um, and also Connie, the um, deaf girl, is in the cornfield. I mean, she could have ran, and I think it would have been cool. I was thinking about it this way, but what if she, like, was behind the cornfield and the whispers were coming and she started running and then they started running after trying to get her and then they get her and then they end up having three hostages, two of Magnus' group, but... Still, actually, right now, three of, two people, no, three in Magnus group are inside the walls, and two of them are outside with the Whispers, so, um, they're not too, doing too hot, but, anyways, so I think Connie, I looked like she was getting attacked by a walker in the, tra in the trailer, so, I'm sure she'll be fine, but I don't know how she's gonna get out of it, because I don't get how the, why the Whispers would save her, and I don't think they're gonna have time to like, run over the wall to save her, although, Maybe she's in there and then she goes, because she was carrying a baby, and we saw that the one lady was carrying a baby in the sneak peek, so maybe she, like, I don't get why she'd go and pick it up, unless maybe they left it or something. I don't get why they'd leave it, though. What's the point of bringing it there and then just leaving it to die? So maybe, maybe they leave it, and she goes and gets it, and then, because she was carrying the baby, so something like that has to happen. And then we did see a shot of Daryl trying to sneak out or something, so maybe he's going out to try to save her or something. But I don't know why he wouldn't just go through the main entrance. But we don't know the episode, so this is why it's a prediction video. So maybe he goes out there to save her, and, you know, that would be kind of intense. I think that it should be kind of cool to see, because she, like, she's not, a, like, a major character in the comics. Actually, in the comics, Kelly is a guy, and Connie's a girl, and they're actually dating. They're not sisters, because he, um, they're actually both girls and sisters. So it's a cool aspect of how they changed it up, but, um... Yeah, I think that we'll get a few intense scenes between Daryl and Alpha, which would be really cool. And I think that um, Tara and Henry will be sort of back and forth with Daryl. Like, Daryl will be like, you have to do this exchange. You she has two of our people. And Henry's like, she's innocent. She These people are just going to hurt her and abuse her. And it'll be just like, because he already clearly does not want to give Lydia back because of what her mother does to her. And that, like, so, and the reason that she kept him in the walker um, masks, we saw that in the sneak peek as well, um, it's like, what if he actually just brought her out, she would have probably kept the hostages, you know what I mean, like, if Daryl just immediately brought her out and said, here you go, it, she could have kept the hostages, because we didn't see them, they didn't know that it was there, because they had walker masks on, so, that actually is kind of cool to think about, just, you know, what could have happened, but, um, and then we see the kingdom, and there's been some rumors going around about maybe Beta being in this episode, I don't think they'll really fit with the kingdom because they're just out on a supply run. Um, I think it'd be cool though. I, th I actually would really like that to see because they don't know about the whispers yet and that'd be really terrifying for them to first find out about like a seven million foot guy just like towering over them all with like just ready to kill him. Um, and yeah, so I, I think we'll either get his first appearance in episode 12 or we could get it in this episode, but I don't think it would make too much sense with the story because you'd think he'd be either at the camp while Alpha's away, you know, keeping an eye on the other whispers that are there. Because I don't think they just leave the camp to just go show off what they can do and he's just out doing his own thing. I think it makes most sense for him to just stay back at the camp and then we'll see him next episode when... Because I think Henry will actually leave the hilltop to go look for Lydia and then that's... And then maybe Daryl goes after him and then they find, they find him there or something. I don't know. But I think we'll get a lot of character interactions with Beta, so that would be cool, because he's really scary. I think he honestly is more scary than Alpha, because Alpha is like, you know, she'll do what she has to do, and she does it sometimes to just, like, do it, because she, I don't know why, but, because she's not like Negan, where she does it just for fun, but she, like, does it to prove her point that she's Alpha, she'll, she is the leader, you follow what she says, but Beta is, like, creepy as crap, and he'll literally, like, do anything to just protect Alpha and kill anyone that he sees so um i think that they're really gonna be awesome to see once it's like down the road and we're past the whisper we're just gonna look back and be like holy crap alpha and beta are so 
just like they're the best villains by far. But um, so anyways, I I don't think we'll see Beta this episode, but I think the Kingdom will go. I think they're I believe they're having the fair. I mean we've seen it, but I don't know if it's like official yet. I think that we'll see that in the next week's episode because we saw that in the trailer, and then we'll probably see that guy that's looking at Jerry Weird in that one trailer we got um in this episode because I don't think the trailer goes past episode twelve. Um yeah, because it was released at the end of in November and they would have just finished filming episode 16 so they're not gonna do it when they just film finished filming like three weeks ago for the one episode so I think we'll see that I think we'll see a lot some I don't know if we'll see a lot of the kingdom because they actually really need to show off a lot of elf but just to show that she's not like messing around but I think it's a good mixture to have the hilltop in the kingdom because we haven't seen the kingdom at all in the second half actually um but yeah so it looks like we'll see Jesus and um short regular haired carol well not like regular hair but like down to here it looks like um but yeah so i'd highly recommend that you guys check out some of the sneak peeks and stuff in the trailer it looks really intense and it looks really good eden enid looks like she's really freaking out in one of them so i'm like in one of the shots and lydia looks normal and alpha's just like so menacing and i'm just so happy that this is coming to screen um so we can actually see it because i'm a huge fan of the comics i love the comics just as much as i love the show and i love the show so much so um, I'm really happy to see that coming to the screen. Um, but yeah, guys, so leave down below what did you guys think of last week's episode? What do you think is going to happen in this week's episode? And tomorrow, I'm actually going to have a video um, about some um, Walking Dead comics that I'm going to be buying soon. So I can just like, explain that to you. I'm actually going to start filming my videos the day before so I can upload them the next day, like in the middle of the day. Um, so I'll actually still be wearing the same thing, probably. So just keep that in mind. But um, yeah, so thanks for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.